Hello everybody, Legendary Savage Gamers here. On another today's episode, we are going to see if Metroid Prime Remastered is playable on the Nintendo Switch emulator. I'm going to use two Nintendo Switch emulators today to see if they are playable online. The first one I'm going to use is Yuzu. So, let's get, in, get right into the video and see if it's playable. So far the demo part of the game is playable. Like, it's got high frame rates. So far so good. But let's see if the actual gameplay is playable. Alright, let's get into this video. Well, as you can see, it is playable, but it is very, moving very, very slowly. The audio doesn't sound too hot either. Like, it's very, very bad. It is now running like 30, fluctuating between 20 frames per second. It is very, very bad. But as you've seen everywhere else, it was running very, very fast and high frame rates. But this, this, if you guys want to play like this, where it's a little bit slow and stuttering, if you guys want to play it this way, then more power to you. But, yeah, it's not that playable on, uh, on Yuzu. Oh, can't use Morph Ball yet. But, it is not playable at all. Unless you probably look down at the ground, right? Yeah. Less yeah, less frames to draw. But the moment you start looking at all these high frames, yeah. Well, time to move on to the next one. If you guys know any other Nintendo Switch emulators besides Ryu Jinx and Yuzu, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, time to move on to the next Nintendo Switch emulator. Alright, here we are with Ryu Jinx, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let's see if it is playable on Ryu Jinx. As before, the demo looks very looks playable, I think. It looks like it's stuttering a little bit. But let's get into the game and see how it looks. So far so good. Steady 60 frames per second. It's sitting in docked mode right now. Ooh. Eight. Ooh, God, look at that stutter. It's going between 60 and 20 frames right now. Oof. Ooh, ooh, oof. Oh, that's bad. Well, at least we can move a little bit faster. There we go. Oh, yeah. We can move a little bit faster than we could on uh, Yuzu, on the Yuzu emulator. We could definitely move a little bit faster. Okay, guns are shooting faster. The audio sounds a lot better. The audio definitely sounds a lot better. Okay. Ooh. 
major frame drops on the door animation. Oof. Oof. Okay, so far so good. Just so far... It's so far it's playable, but I'm noticing, yeah, major frame rate drops on the animation of the doors. And when you go through it to load in the next world. Well, oh, next location. Sorry for the loud button clicking. I got a new controller and the buttons are not broken in yet. But everything seems to be okay. I'm hoping I'm hoping that this this answered your guys' question. If you guys ever wanted to figure out if you guys if you guys don't want to spend the forty dollars on this game, I don't blame you if you got bills and stuff to take care of. And if you guys want to play the game this way, more power to you. I'm not saying go ahead and do it. But I own this game um, I own this game physically on my Nintendo Switch. Well, not physically, but digital download. You know what I mean. But I just wanted to sit here and download this to sit here and see if it's playable for you guys. Because on my Nintendo Switch, I am definitely enjoying this nostalgic classic game. This game came out in 2002. It is now 2023, and when I first found out that Nintendo dropped this game, I literally jumped on it. I had to buy it. This game was my childhood. But so far, everything is playable except some of the frames are dropping. As you can see, everything looks perfectly fine but there is some frame drops so if that's playable for you guys then then it's playable poor Samus but I hope this video helped you out and if it did please be sure to leave a like and definitely leave a comment but so far oh, crap that's one thing I forgot about these damn elevators. But if you guys are enjoying this video, I will go mute for a little bit and I will let you guys watch this video gameplay for a few extra minutes. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next video. If you're new to this channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. It will greatly help me help my channel out. And be sure to leave a like. And if you don't like my content then you can hit the dislike and you can leave a negative comment but anyways I hope you guys are having a great day today and legendary savage gamers signing off